Hey everybody, it's Laura with Jot and Tittle Typewriters. Today is an Adler J2, and I kept it in the bottom part of the um, case to show you how to take it out. Um, I guess I should have put the top on it too, but you just unhook the top. But there are two um, levers on each side of the typewriter in the case. This one is towards the back, and then that, this one is over here in the middle. And so you just pull, you pull them forward, and then, oops, I did it backwards. Anyway, you just push those back, and then that'll release the typewriter out of the case for you. And let me just set that down. And then right here also, and I had undone it before, so let me see if I can lock it back up. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so on the side, now this is just a tutorial. I'm not gonna do any typing. This is your carriage lock. So right now my carriage is locked. I can't move it. Hold on. Um, the carriage release is this button here, and so it's not going anywhere. So I just come back here to this lever. Which way do I go? I don't remember. There we go. Pull it towards you, and then that releases the carriage. This one has a really nice sounding bell on it. Now, I didn't find a lot of information on the J2. I looked up the serial number, and I couldn't find anything. Um, but I found some others that had similar serial numbers and they said it was from the 1970s. So that's all I have to go on. But to find the serial number, and please excuse the bottom, I have not cleaned the typewriter yet. Your, the serial number is right here. It's on this, there's this back metal frame piece. And you're going to need probably like a magnifying glass, but it's right here. Okay, and that's where you'll find the serial number. Typewriter database is the main place I look for serial number information. But like I said, there really wasn't any anything for the J2 by Adler. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look. So here is your margins, press and drag like most typewriters. Here's your paper holder. All right, just press it down. Um, this is your line selector over here for when you hit the return handle it's going to advance one two or three lines um this is a paper release so that releases the tension on your paper again the carriage holder right here just pull up same thing on this side pull up has a really nice feel to it okay before i open the top i want to move the carriage to the left so that the handle doesn't get in the way so i'm going to move that over and let's pop open the top, and inside you'll see a universal ribbon. It's not the original ribbon spools. Um, there are spring-loaded arms on each one that just kind of holds it in there. So when you want to change it out, you just hold that arm back and then lift up. And you can take out your ribbon. And when you want to put a new one in, just pop it on there. Make sure it's engaged. And then you got to make sure it's threaded through okay and uh, if you need an up close image of what the of how to thread it then there'll be a link in the description below to a product listing for a typewriter either this one or one like it where you'll have a, a, an image that you can reference okay um right down hold on a second oh here it is okay so it took me, the first time I had one of these, it took me forever to find the ribbon reversal because when you get to the end of the ribbon, it's not the end of the ink and you need to reverse the ribbon. Some ribbons um, have a grommet that can, that with certain typewriters will auto reverse. Um, if that doesn't uh, happen on you and you need to do it manually, there is this metal arm right here and you just press it and then you'll see the metal arm over here. So wherever you see that metal arm, you just press it. 
back, okay? And that reverses the direction of your ribbon. So again, um, you can't see it on this side, but it's right here, and then I'll switch it, and now you can see it on this side, okay? Um, let's put the cover back on. It's got these pointy things, and you need to line them up with the hole. There we go. Okay, so that's back on there. Your color selector is right here, red. Uh, it has blue, but it really is black. And then all the way up, the white is stencil. Your typewriter is not going to work properly on that setting, so you're not going to need the white. Make sure it's um, on either the blue or the red, okay? Here is your tab button. To set your tabs, that's what this lever is for. Plus is to set, minus is to clear. Backspace, and remember backspace doesn't erase, it just backspaces so you can type over your mistake. And then your MR button on the left side is margin release. So when you're typing, that bell goes off saying, hey, you're at your margin, now you're at your margin, it's gonna stop on you, it's not gonna go any further. You need to hit the return handle or when you get there, you hit the margin release. You'll see it kind of uh, shift, and then you just keep going. All right? So that is how you use uh, the J4 by Adler. Thanks for watching.